welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about what is inside my camera bag. I'm going to be showing you obviously the equipment that I own and the bags that I own because there is more than one. So if you want to see some of the equipment that I own then keep on watching. Now as I just mentioned there is more than one bag. I actually have three. So I've got my Lower Pro AW Vertex 300. I have my big Tog London bag and I also have my mini Tog London bag. The mini Tog London bag I don't have with me at the moment, um, but for today's video I'm going to be showing you my Lower Pro bag and the big Tog bag. So, this is my Tog London bag. I absolutely adore it. It's an absolutely brilliant bag to have. Now, it doesn't look like your typical everyday camera bag, does it? Let's be honest. Um, I purchased it exactly for that reason. I had seen so many reviews online about it. And for when I'm out and about shooting in busy built up areas or when I'm traveling, I don't want it to be obvious that I'm carrying camera kit. This bag offers all the protection I need. It's waterproof. I've got Velcro inserts inside um, and it looks stylish, which is what every girl wants. So if I open the bag, this is what it looks like inside. Now, I normally would have my Nikon D850 in here, but I am actually filming this video on there. So for the purpose of the video, just imagine that I have a Nikon D850 in here. Now, I bought my Nikon D850 um, in May, so around seven months ago, and it was the best investment I have ever made. It really was an investment because it was so expensive, but so worth it and I absolutely love it. I use it pretty much every day and I genuinely would be lost without it. Um, before I had that, I used to shoot on a Sony a65 with some Konica Minolta lenses that must have been a good 12 years old. And that was fine, that got me through college when I was doing projects at home and part of university, but at school and college and university, the cameras that they had were Nikon. At university, you had the option for Canon, However, as I'd used Nikon, like I said, at school and college, I decided that I would invest in a Nikon when I finally completed my degree, which is clearly what I've done. Now, the camera itself has 45 megapixels. It's got a range um, for its ISO of 64 to 25,600, which is humongous. Um, and it's great because you can go up to a really high value on your ISO and you really don't get a lot of noise on it. Um, it's full frame, it's FX and on the back you've got a touch screen as well as like your normal buttons so you can quickly flip through photos, zoom in, zoom out just with the pinch of your fingers which I absolutely love. Um, it does have the capabilities of connecting to Wi-Fi and you can connect it to Snapbridge, the Nikon app. I don't tend to use that purely because I have found that when I'm shooting in RAW, which is what I always do, trying to download those photos on my phone clearly isn't going to work because my iPhone doesn't support that. Um, and so I never really use the Snapbridge app, but I think it's perfect for people that do shoot a lot in JPEGs um, and maybe if your phone does support raw files then it's perfect for that. Now attached to the camera and what I'm obviously filming this through is my 24 to 120 lens. I bought this second hand from CEX, one because my bank account couldn't take any more spending and it had been really hit hard by the purchase of my Nikon D850 and also because I trusted CEX, it's quite a reputable source. Um, they grade their products so you've got mint condition all the way down to, I don't know, half broken I suppose. Um, this was mint condition, it happened to be in my local store, it was the only store that had this particular lens um, in the whole of the UK so it was kind of meant to be and so obviously I purchased it. I use this lens all the time, I shot all my product shots, all my portraiture, I have shot landscapes, I've even shot a little bit of wildlife. Um, it is a great versatile all-round lens, however I am really wanting a prime lens, particularly the 85mm 1.4. A girl can dream. I seriously dream about that quite a lot. I would love to have that lens within my gear. Um, one day I will when I have enough money from the jobs, um, but for the time being this is a great lens and I do love using it. Now back to the bag. Um, to accompany my Nikon D850, we have my battery grip. Um, this is made by Mike or Mike. It's spelled M-E-I-K-E. I think it's a Chinese brand. It's brilliant. It works 
like a treat. Um, I got this, I think, off of eBay. Um, and along with that came two battery inserts. You've got one for your Nikon battery and then you've got one for your eight AA batteries. So you can drop and change. If your Nikon battery dies, then you can take it out and put eight AA batteries in there if you have them lying around in your bag. Obviously I do for that purpose. Another thing that is always in my bag our batteries clearly I've never used them yet because I've never had to my battery's always been okay but I have those just in case and I always bring that insert with me as well just on the off chance that my battery does die now this shutter remote control also came with the battery grip um, it's brilliant it takes AAA batteries which I've got in here as well um, and once you attach the grip to the bottom of the camera you can just start shooting straight away next on my list is my Godox V862N this is a great piece of kit, it's a great flash, obviously it's not Nikon, but it doesn't have to be Nikon, my battery grip wasn't Nikon, so it just shows you don't have to buy Nikon to get really good kind of outcomes. I use it all the time, I've done so many product shots on here, I've shot my portraits on here and it is brilliant. I've done event shots on here and I absolutely love it. You've got all the dials as you normally would on any other flash, it came with um, gels that you can put over the top. And this handy little case which keeps it protected obviously in the box there was the transmitter and receiver um, so I can you know stick this on a mini tripod plonk it somewhere else um, stick the transmitter on the top of my camera and kind of remotely shoot and flash um, so yeah great piece of kit highly recommend um, and don't always spend your money on getting Nikon stuff because you don't need it and so many companies make stuff um, and equipment that fit Nikon perfectly we then have my TOG purse. Now I have, I think, all of their products in the TOG range. I love them, they are great. Um, again, very stylish. It holds all your memory cards, business cards, hard drives, money, um, anything you want in there. Um, it's great for when you're going out shooting and you don't have to worry about where your memory cards are, where your money is. You can put it all in here and it is very safe and secure and it feels quite good quality as well, which is good. Next in the bag is this little baby tripod. Um, it may be small, but it is very, very solid. Um, it holds my Nikon D850 with the 24 to 120 lens on it with ease. It was literally 10 pounds off, of e off of Amazon, so it's not gonna break the bank. Um, it fits into pretty much any bag. It probably fits into your handbag so easily, um, and I really think it should be a staple in every photographer's bag. Um, you can literally stick it on walls, you can stick it on the floor um, and it balances things perfectly. It is also great because for the vloggers out there, if you've got, I don't know, like a Canon G7X or a camera similar to that with the tripod bit in the bottom, you can hold it and obviously you can then walk and talk holding it rather than having to hold the actual camera. But I use it for this Nikon. I then have my batteries. So these are obviously to go in the battery grip. Um, these go everywhere with me just on the off chance that the Nikon camera battery may die and then I've got my AAA batteries for the remote shutter control. I also have my Polaroid in here. Um, I received this about three and a half years ago for my 18th birthday from my best friends back home and I absolutely love it. Um, it comes with me on all my travels. I find it so important to have actual physical copies of photos rather than them all just stored on your phone. I have thousands on my phone and my laptop and they just get forgotten about whereas with Polaroids you can have them in your purse, you can stick them up on the wall and I absolutely love it. It is quite pricey, um, I think it's a pound a shot and you get 10 shots per film um, so you have to use it quite sparingly which obviously I do but for those kind of occasions it's great. This camera bag also features a slot in the back so just behind the back straps so if you unzip it here this is where I keep my laptop when I'm traveling it slots nicely in there you've got a bit for your business cards or whatever you can find to fit in there you've got a little section for you could put notepads books leads headphones passports wallet in there you've got um, a section for pens for notepads Every time I open this bag, I'm finding new slots and I love it. So it is very cute, very compact and very stylish. And most of all, it protects my gear. Hence why I do love this bag. Next up is my Lower Pro Vertex 300AW. As you can see, this is a lot bigger than the TOG bag. 
um, a lot wider and it has a lot more pockets so I am forever losing stuff in here um, and then finding them a couple of weeks later but yeah this bag is perfect for when you're going out shooting you could be camping you could be going to quite like bad weather conditions obviously the tog bag is waterproof but I'm not going to take that somewhere where it's likely to get muddy and that kind of thing because it would just get ruined whereas I trust that this would be fine um, all the zips are weather tight you've got like a rubber seal over, over it which is a perfect um, kind of asset to the bag you have the laptop zip in there so unlike the tog bag it is actually at the front in here you've got slots for memory cards, um, hard drives, wallets, that kind of thing. You can attach your tripod to the side. So when I'm going on long, long days and I need all my kit, then this is obviously my go-to bag. Inside there isn't a lot because obviously all of it is in my top bag and I am shooting on my main camera. Um, but this is what it looks like inside. In it is my 200-500 f5.6 lens. This is incredible. Um, it's absolutely huge. You can zoom in so far with this. I did my final degree project using this lens and I absolutely love it. Unlike the prime lenses, obviously it does fold down back to the 200 which is perfect for when you're travelling and you need to put it in a bag. It is quite heavy and it will hurt your heart hurt your arms after a while. I have a monopod that I can attach to the bottom here um, so when I am shooting and I don't want to take my big tripod out I've got my, mon my monopod and that is obviously another option for me. I have this neoprene cover on it for protection because I am very clumsy. Earlier this year when I was finishing my degree I went to Australia for my captivity project and on the first full day of being there I hadn't reattached this properly. I lifted it out the bag and the lens just fell straight out and smashed. Um, amazingly, I was still able to finish my degree. I don't know how, um, so I basically finished my degree with a smashed lens. But it's all fixed now, good old insurance. Um, but yeah, this neoprene case is there for protection and obviously there to be a camouflage. Wildlife, animals, they are gonna see this huge black thing sticking out of the bush and so, this camouflage is perfect for that um, and it just gives you yeah that little bit of extra security um, that even if you're walking and branches are going to be hitting it that it's not actually going to hit the body of the lens it's going to be protected by the neoprene case um, it was about 20 pounds um, and I will leave the link for it down below now the tripod that I use um, is my Bembo Mark II tripod I only received this a few days ago as a Christmas present and I absolutely love it. When I first got it out of the box I was so intimidated by the size of it. Um, the legs, legs can go in all sorts of directions but it is perfect for what I'm needing to do with it. I can do flat lays with it, I can do product photography with it, I can do all sorts with it so I absolutely love it. Obviously I won't be taking that to Asia because that would just be ridiculous and I will have enough to carry. Hence why I'll have that little mini tripod which I'll be using but for any real serious photographic work then I will always use this tripod. I think that is it for now. Um, over the next few months I will be expanding my gear and so I will most likely do an updated one of this video in a few months time. Um, the 85mm of course is going to be at the top of my list so maybe in my next what's in my camera bag video it will feature an 85mm 1.4 fingers crossed. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into some of the gear that I own. I will most likely do an updated version of this in a few months time as my gear continues to grow um, but for the time being yeah this is what you can find in my camera bag. If you've liked what you've seen then please don't forget to like and subscribe and I think all that's left to say is Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful time, um, have a happy new year and I will see you in 2019. Bye! <laughs>